Rear view cameras not only make things easier when it comes to manoeuvring, but can also be an important safety feature, allowing you to get visibility of what is a blind spot in most vans. As part of the build of our van, we included a wired camera to a dedicated screen. But what if you've already completed your build or have a commercial camper van or motorhome and want to retrofit a camera easily? Well, we were contacted by Autobox and asked to try the Solar 4 wireless reversing camera kit, which they say is the simplest rear camera solution to install. So let's take a look at it and how it performs. The Autofox Solar 4 is available from Amazon. It's not the cheapest system out there, but let's see if it's worth the money. All well packed inside the box, we've got a wireless digital camera and antenna with built-in rechargeable battery, a solar panel which can be connected to the camera to keep the battery topped up, the monitor screen and antenna, a self-adhesive mount for the screen, and the power cable for the monitor to plug into the cigarette lighter, two different types of mount for the camera and an extension mount for the antenna if it is needed. With a setup that uses a wired rear view camera, it's necessary to connect both the camera and the monitor to a power source and run a cable from the camera to the monitor, which is time consuming and often difficult. There are wireless solutions that still need the camera to be connected to the power and usually wired to the reversing lights. The signal on these is often an analog signal which is then sent to the monitor which is also connected to power. With the Autovox system having the battery built into the camera, it's simply the case of attaching the camera and plugging in the monitor. This means it can be installed in minutes. It also gives flexibility on the positioning of the camera, so if you're towing something like a trailer, caravan or boat, you can simply move the camera to the best position. The advantage of the Autovox having a digital connection gives better quality, consistency, reduction of interference and privacy compared to an analogue signal that tend to degrade quickly and break up with interference, or even pick up signals from other reversing cameras or baby monitors in the area. So before we try it out in some tests, let's see how it works. Simply switching on the camera into standby and connecting the monitor, we see that the picture appears. The menu of the monitor allows us to change settings like mirroring or inverting the picture, the brightness and contrast, pairing an additional optional camera, switching the guidelines on or off and setting the timeout on the screen to either 120 seconds, 240 seconds or always on. The timeout of the screen also switches the camera into standby, saving the power in the camera. After the timeout has switched it off, to reactivate the screen and camera, you just tap any button on the monitor or the button on the back of the power connector. Obviously the most critical thing about the system is how well the connection between the camera and the monitor holds up. So I popped the monitor in the cab with the camera recording it and walked to the back of the van and kept walking for around 30 metres. I was sure it would have been enough for the camera to lose its signal, but when I reviewed the footage, as you can see, it didn't. So I had to try again doing exactly the same exercise, this time I kept walking for around 50 metres and I ended up going round the corner so there were some houses blocking between the van and the camera and finally it did disconnect. But as soon as I walked back a few metres it connected up again. To test out the battery life on the camera we set the screen to always on, didn't have the solar panel connected to the camera and left it running. We found we got over 8 hours of continuous use before the camera got low. 
So with the sleep setting at 240 seconds, we'd get at least 120 camera activations, and at 120 seconds sleep time, we'd get at least 240 activations. By connecting the solar panel to the camera, this would help to recharge the battery between uses, and when doing this, and with the camera set on 240 seconds, we so far have not had the camera drop below the full battery level. And what I would say was average usage when manoeuvring and parking. Let's take a look at using it in real life. As we're testing it out, I mounted the camera with some magnets so we could move it around. On the left we have our wired camera and on the right the auto box. As you can see, there is no lag, the fluidity is good and there's no breaking up of the picture. When stationary, it was clear the quality of the auto box picture was better than the wired camera. The fact we could move the Autovox camera to the back of a trailer was something we can't do with our wired camera, and as Explore Van does get used for towing a boat reasonably regularly, we were keen to try it out, positioning the camera at the back of the trailer. As you can see, we didn't even need to use the antenna extension that's provided to position the monitor antenna outside, as even at this range, the quality and fluidity of the picture was superb. We're happy to share that viewers can currently get 10% discount simply by entering ExploreVan at the checkout. Although it may not be the cheapest solution out there, the quality, ease of installation and the flexibility the system gives makes it definitely one we would recommend and we will be continuing to use it. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.